How would you feel if the Mars rover found alien life forms and you were a part of it? Oh, it'd be bragging rights for days, I think. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If you think science jobs are all lab coats and PhDs, think again. My name's Zoe, and I'm here to prove that anyone can work in science. I'm meeting the people behind jobs that change the world. Today, I'm meeting someone I like to call a space crafter. I feel like I've stepped into the future. Well, wait until you see what I'm working on. Meet Ruben Chesterman, an expert in building satellite tech that explores Mars and tracks climate change here on Earth. This is where we assemble all our electronics boards and electronics components. Today, I'm having a go at his job. You want to pop some gloves on? Oh, I'm twisted already. So, this is Envis and its objective is to detect signs of life on Mars. Whoa! So did you build this? I assembled the metal enclosure around all the uh, electronics boards on the inside. You can sort of see it kind of sits like this. So what is your hope for the mission? So my hope for it is it gets there and it works. Uh, <laughs> that means I've done my job right. And if it does find signs of life, like what an amazing feeling that would be yeah. to have a part to play in that. Yeah. Absolutely. That would be incredible. I feel like it's every kid's dream to be an astronaut. Was oh. it your dream? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I played astronauts in the playground as a kid. He may not be going to space himself, but Ruben's work will travel 140 million miles in search of life on another planet. Pretty exciting. Just one question. Is there something I can have a go at? If we go through into the clean room, uh, there's definitely something we can have a go at in there. Ruben is going to let me have a go at making a space blanket, which was his first job here. But before I do that, I'm suiting up in full PPE. Yes, it is still me underneath all of this. Everything here is mission critical, so it's really important to keep it contamination free. I like how normal the stuff is though. It's just <laughs> yeah. like pens and scissors to make Everyday items, space. yeah, to make stuff go into space. Now, if you thought these space blankets are to keep astronauts cozy, you're not alone. I did too. What they are actually for is wrapping around a satellite's instruments to keep them working properly. One side of the satellite can be really cold, minus 270, and one side of it can be really hot. So we have to make sure that the components on board are operating at a steady temperature. These blankets are absolutely critical. The first layer of protection against the environment of space. Want to give it a go? I would love to. First, I need to precisely cut ultra-thin thermal layers to perfectly fit a design. Is there a good way to do this? Uh, delicately. <laughs> so you don't pierce the blanket. Okay. My hands are shaky. Yep, that's yeah? good. Perfect. Next, I need to fold the edges to join the outer layer onto the core layer. A fold in the wrong place could compromise a satellite's performance. Do you feel as scared as I am touching it? I did when I first started. <laughs> it was almost like going into surgery for the first time. It's hard to pick it up, isn't it? Oh. There you go. So you've done there what every newbie does, and that is you fix the plastic layer up no! underneath. <laughs> I'm a classic newbie. Is that better? Yeah, much better. <laughs> what are the satellites actually doing? So many satellites have different functions from uh, telecommunications to uh, weather observation. Earth observation satellites will look at things like areas of deforestation, uh, chemical runoffs from factories into rivers, into our oceans. We wouldn't know climate change was real if it wasn't for the data captured by our satellites. That's the thing I love most about my job. I get to do the exploration stuff and the stuff that's pushing mankind forward, but it's also having an impact here on Earth. And each one of Ruben's space blankets is playing its part. That's like a love part. <laughs> I made my first space blanket. What do you think? I think it's good. I think it's good enough to fly. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's send it to space. Every component is made to be perfect because once it's out in the depths of space, it can't be fixed. Which is why Chris Jenkin Watkins helps test each piece to its limits. So who's Ruben and who's Chris? So I'm Chris. Oh, I'm still Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we guys? So we are in suite A of SDC2, which is one of our thermal vacuum chambers. You have satellites going to space, but how do you make sure the satellite's gonna work in space? We have to do it here on Earth. So you put the satellite in there, we create a vacuum inside and we have control of heating and cooling, create space-like conditions. Can I touch the door? You can shut the door. <laughs> have you been inside? I have, yeah, quite a few times. Do you like it? 
mind blowing. It is like wow, the size and the scale of it. Do you ever get scared you'll get locked in? Um, you do have that irrational fear, but <laughs> it won't happen. Safe, don't it worry. Is safe. <laughs> the precision that technicians like Chris and Ruben deliver is vital to mission success. Ruben's love for his hands on job is so clear. His journey to get here will surprise you. So I'm dyslexic uh, and so I struggled all throughout school. So when I actually came to go into uni, I was just like, no, I've had enough. So I got a job just in a clean room, just doing medical manufacturing. I used to make the, uh, the stents that go in arteries, like really tiny, like really fiddly work. So do you think that the previous experience working in the medical industry has helped you in this job? Oh, definitely, yeah. It's those uh, practical based skills that uh, you can't get anywhere else apart from learning on the job. How does it feel when you watch a launch and know that something that you built was on that rocket? I've actually got footage of one of the launches that I worked on. And I made my family watch it live with our fingers crossed, hoping oh. it all went well. But yeah, there it goes. Oh my gosh. Your family must be so proud of you. Oh, they really are. Yeah. That is incredible. Look at it go to space. Is that not just mind blowing? It really is. I think, you know, you've spent hours and hours working on it and to watch it finally go is just absolutely amazing. Knowing that school wasn't exactly Ruben's thing, it's inspiring to see how he has turned his practical skills and passion into an important career in science, helping to shape the future. Before I go, random question, but would you ever go to space? Oh, absolutely, I would, in a heartbeat, I would love to go. Whether it's satellites orbiting Earth or hardware venturing into the unknown, Ruben's work and the journey he took to get here show that big dreams and giant leaps always start with small, determined steps. Okay, what's next? I'm ready to try out my next job that changes the world.